So there are now four different vaccines specifically recommended for pregnant women. Two of them are designed to protect both the woman and the baby, and the other two are designed primarily to protect the baby. So those first two are flu and COVID-19 vaccines. And the reason that they're recommended is that pregnant women, especially as they are get into the later stages of their pregnancy, the third trimester, we know are at increased risk of getting very sick and even dying from both flu or COVID. Getting that vaccine earlier in their pregnancy will help prevent them from getting very, very ill. In addition, that vaccine helps the mom generate antibodies that are passed to the baby through the placenta and then through breast milk if she chooses to breastfeed that help protect the infant from flu and COVID in those early months where they're at actually very high risk of getting sick and being quite ill if they get either of those two diseases and while they're still too young to be vaccinated themselves. The third vaccine is Tdap. We've had this recommendation for many years now that women get this Tdap vaccine in every pregnancy. It stands for tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis. The main reason though that we want to give uh, it in pregnancy is that pertussis component. Pertussis is whooping cough. And again, young infants are very uh, susceptible Acceptable to pertussis and can get very, very ill if they're exposed. So giving mom that vaccine in the later stages of their pregnancy, again, gives that baby those antibodies that protect it until it can be vaccinated. And then the last one is a new vaccine that just came out last year in 2023, and it's for RSV, respiratory syncytial virus. So RSV is the leading cause of hospitalization in infants, um, and it is particularly bad in those first six months of life. There is no vaccine for infants. There is a new monoclonal antibody that infants can get, but we really recommend either one or the other. So the mom can get vaccinated later in pregnancy, 32 to 36 weeks, specifically to give the baby those antibodies They'll be born with those antibodies and will protect them from day one from RSV disease. Every pregnant woman should talk about these four vaccines with their OB and they should be available in most, if not all, OB offices. If not, they're available in pharmacies um, and really just have that conversation just to make sure that there's no other extenuating circumstance. But for the vast majority of, of pregnant women, all four of these will be recommended.